So the FDA approving a new cutting-edge, non-surgical, non-invasive procedure offering new hope for early-stage prostate cancer patients. But how does it stack up when other proven techniques uh, are in place? So, Dr. Samadhi, I ask you, first of all, what is it? How does it work, and who should get this procedure? Well, the news broke out about a few months ago, something called HIFU, which is High Intense Focal Ultrasound. And basically what this is, and for selected patients with low-risk prostate cancer or Gleason 6 and a small prostate, this can actually play a role. There is a transducer in the rectum, and with the general anesthesia, you basically use a high focus ultrasound energy and you can actually burn the cancer cells. So if you select your patients, this actually could work well. There's a lot of data that's coming from Europe. They've been doing this for many years. This just came out in the U.S. and just approved. Right. And, and the discussion with the patient is that it works well if you select your patients well. And you the, say low risk, what does that mean? So when you see, well, that's the very good question. When a patient comes to us, they either may have a low risk prostate cancer or moderate or very aggressive. We call that the Gleason score. The next thing that I pay attention is how many cores or how many areas of the prostate does have a cancer. And so the standard of care today is all these removal of the prostate because it gives a very accurate staging. A week after, I can look at the patient and say, this is how much cancer you had, this is how far it's gone. Right. Six weeks after, the PSU should be undetectable and zero. And so that's what surgery is. But this for older patients mm -hmm. who want to do watchful waiting, they don't want to go for surgery, and they still don't want to walk around with cancer, this could play a role. But as you know, Dr. Samadhi, not everybody starts out seeing an expert uh, like you. Um, they go to their general practitioner like Dr. Siegel. So what are you looking for? At what point would one of your patients you may say to that patient, look, you have to go see Dr. Samadhi. Well, you know, the, the, the issue is the, the playing field is changing. Because of robotic prostate surgery in the right hands, I'm able to offer surgery to people that have more what we call comorbidities than I ever did before. They're older. They have diabetes. They have heart disease. Wait, wait, wait you, you can offer robotic surgery? I can say, no, th there's people I wouldn't have operated on before, and I would have been looking for some other treatment that I can now say in the right hand, surgery may still be your first option because you, you can do it minimally invasively, be out the next day, and you can operate on sicker people now. Having said that, there still are people who you wouldn't operate on, and those people you might look for other choices. But, you know, interesting thing about this high food that Dr. Samadhi is mentioning is he made a really good point here. Obviously, he's the expert. You don't want to offer this to somebody with advanced cancer because the recurrence rate is 28 percent. Those are people that probably shouldn't have had it in the first place. There can be infection. There can be urinary problems. It's got side effects. You want to figure out what is the right treatment for each patient. And if you can operate, because there's 200,000 new cases a year and 25,000 men still die of prostate wow. cancer every year, we don't have all the genetics figured out yet. I say if, you, if, it, if it's going to be a potential to kill you, get it out. And, and diagnostically, you can't always see all the little areas of cancer in the prostate. Uh, unless you take the prostate out. That's right. So in our center of excellence that we have in New York and also many other centers, we're using MRI fusion biopsies, which is much better than the ultrasound, the old-fashioned way of doing the biopsy. But you're 100% right. You still don't know how much cancer somebody has. The issue with HIFU is that you can only treat about 10 grams per hour. So if you have a large question. prostate, it could I'm, take longer. I'm cutting you off intentionally. Sorry. I was kind of maybe a stupid question, but it's never. what is the prostate? What is so it? So prostate gland is, is a gland that we have between the bladder and the urethra, and it's responsible for all the semen that goes through it, a lot of nutrition. It's a, basically a male organ. Uh, the kind of disease is very similar to breast cancer, but it's for a sexual function okay. and all the surrounding nerves around it that's involved. Now, once you remove it, an expert surgeon who is qualified and does this day in and day out, sexual function after surgery and continence is good. For a lot of viewers, okay. what we've done is, since they have a lot of questions about this, if you are newly diagnosed with prostate cancer, go to prostatecancer911.com prostatecancer911.com. You can send your information and we give you free consultation to help you. It's getting right. very confusing now.